So your planet is getting pumped out by the universe. <laughs> now, on 2029, April 13th, a Friday. Friday 13th, no, okay. <laughs> now, if you added 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 9, that's 13. So that basically tells you the universe is going to hit us, hates our guts. So what's going to happen is an asteroid is going to come so close to our planet, it will dip below our satellite, so we can actually see it. And based on how it um, passes us, it will tell us when it will come back and hit us in 2036. I will show you how this will happen. But first things first, let me present my figures that I drew. My happy planet. I drew this myself. And then, <laughs> this next picture is big meaning asteroid. I want to hurt your planet Earth. <laughs> and this next picture is called Really Bad Situation. Play. I'm going to hang with this. This is Really Bad Situation number one. Now, to telestrate, because the whole speech is basically being telestrated, the asteroid here will get so close to our planet here. This is a little satellite I drew. So what happens with this thing here is, it will get so below, there's a 600 meter keyhole. Now based on where it goes through this keyhole, it will tell us when it's coming back, and where it's going to hit us at. And this mean asteroid has red teeth, which makes it a mean person. So based on that alone, we will know when's it coming back. Now, there are two different camps how to get rid of it. And no, Frankie, I can smell your thoughts from here, we are not blowing it up. Okay? Because blowing it up, will only do what? Make more rocks that will eventually hit us anyway. And basically, we're not allowed to put nukes in space according to some treaties, which begs us the question, who the hell owns space? As if God came down saying, yo, no nukes in my space, you might hit my top friends. <laughs> so basically, there are two other, there, that's one crowd. But the second crowd we have is, the way I usually do things at Walmart when I'm online, an old lady uses coupons, I push her out the way. Now, what's happening with this push out the way option is we are going to send a little rocket, unmanned, really, we don't really need anyone to really help us out with that. We get next to the asteroid and we get into this gravitational field. And we gently just push it off course. It's really that simple, so we don't have to blow it up, Frankie. <laughs> Seriously, I know. I know you want this. And we can't blow it up a second time. Because it's impossible to blow up a second time because. This guy is not coming back for the sequel. He only signed up for one movie. And he died that first movie. So to give you a projection of what it's going to look like when the asteroid hits us, because we, we will inevitably fail, I prepared this video. That's it coming into our atmosphere, hitting into our planet, hitting our ocean, creating big boom boom. Then, which also creates a massive tidal wave, 
And news, <laughs> tidal wave number one. Huh. Now, after tidal wave number one, you will have at least 50 seconds before the second tidal wave gets there. Which is kind of depressing because you'll turn to a friend after you've been hit with the first one. Do my eyes deceive me? Or is that a second tsunami? I think it's time to go. But as the minute you decide to go, the second tsunami is coming, which could be only bad, right? For them. They're <laughs> watching it come. <laughs> oh man. The birds even look at the hell out of it. And there it comes. You start to think, what are they thinking about right now? Wow, we decide to stand in front of a big, huge piece of water. And there it comes. <laughs> Holding. Then there's the second one. Sucks to me down. <laughs> <laughs> What happens with these tsunamis and why they're caused is the ocean doesn't like having holes in it. So once it's hit, it'll create a three mile hole down. And what happens is the water will first spread and then come right back crashing on it. So shooting water high into the sky and then bringing it right back down to make a second tsunami. Now it's not a planet killer, but it does pretty much suck whoever lives in Santa Monica. Might want to move away around 2036. Wink, wink. <laughs> but of course, that's just the worst case scenario if we aren't able to push it out the way or as Frankie's looking at me right now saying, let's just blow it up. No. So, why have I come to tell you about this asteroid? Because deep down, I love depressing me. Like, I love looking at Robbie right now. And when I tell him about things like this, watching the twinkle in his eyes just fade away, as he knows that life in this universe is pretty shitty. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm wearing all black today, because I mourn for our future death, because it's going to happen, to be honest with ourselves. So, I leave you with two things. A, let's just hope the nerds push it out the way, and B, like seriously, who the fuck owns space? I can't put nuclear bombs there. Thank you. <laughs>